Nintendo Direct from Friday the 13th of November. So, what is our first piece of news? Also, I will be bringing images up right here to the right hand side of me. So, as well as having me speaking, you will have a visual aid as well to be able to see. Right. So, first of all, first part of our news, we're doing Smash Bros. Brawl 4 for Wii U and 3DS. We have got a new amiibo coming in early 2016, and that amiibo is Lucas. As you know, Lucas was earlier this year released and revealed as DLC for Smash Bros, but he's now coming as an amiibo figure, just as Mewtwo and the Mii Fighter the me brawler and the me swordsman did. So, that's it for new Smash Bros amiibo, but one new character was announced right at the end of the direct. Literally, it went to black with stars and then, oh, what's it, who's it gonna be? And the new person is Klaus from Final Fantasy, storming into battle. As you can see here, storming into battle, hopefully I'm not covering up the picture at all, probably just did somehow, but anyway I'll just let you have a good look at that photo while I tell you my thoughts on Klaus, or oh, Cloud, that's a really confusing name for me, plus I've never played Final Fantasy games before, so there's that as well, do I think he's going to be a great new addition to Smash Brothers? Uh, Yes, because of his awesome moves. On to the next picture. Here is alternative costume on the left hand side of the picture of him wearing some sort of long sort of jacket. You know, like the coats they wear in the Matrix. And also, a new costume for all me fighters is the Chocobos. Now, I never knew that the Chocobos were from Final Fantasy because I have only ever seen them in the, I think it's called the Chocolate Quest mod for Minecraft, so yeah, but now I know they're from Final Fantasy, <sighs> so yeah, they look pretty cute costumes, and after this, the direct was over, but they did show one more special thing, and I'll just click to show you, Super Smash Bros special broadcast coming December 2015, will we get the results of the Smash ballot, is my question. Hopefully we will, because I thought, and I predicted, that we were going to get the results in this Direct. We did not. Never mind, we got an awesome new amiibo, an awesome great new addition DLC character to Smash Brothers. Uh, when he will be available, I have absolutely no idea... But, mm. also they showed off some footage for Star Fox, it looked the same, so I didn't, you know, show the uh, pictures there, but here is the release date for Star Fox Zero. Star Fox Zero will be available April 2016, will also be downloadable on the eShop, hashtag Star Fox. Mind you, I think it should be hashtag Star Fox Zero. But... Nintendo for you. Um, it does not specify a date when it is coming out, unfortunately. Well, by a date I mean actual day, so like 25th, 26th, blah 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 blah. But it does at least specify a month, so we're looking at a spring release. On to the next one. Pokin Tournament has got a new update, well, updated footage. You see, in this picture, we've got Shadow Mewtwo with his eyes closed, his tail glowing. Um, basically, in this scene, he was in the air, and he's shooting towards a stadium full of people. And then we got some sort of throne with this sort of... Oh, wait, I haven't brought the image up. Here it is. This throne with a crown. It looks all like a Kingdom Hearts crown, almost. Hmm... But also, this glowing energy orb with Mega Evolution type powers, basically what happens is Mewtwo goes near it and the power comes out of it or he absorbs it and then 
he transforms into this Shadow Mewtwo new form, Mega Evolution type things you can see here in this picture. Right here, he's power up like, oh, like um, Goku from Dragon Ball Z. Also, if we go on to the next one, here we have got the limited edition Pokemon tournament of what you'll be getting. You'll get the game and the special Shadow Mewtwo Amiibo card. So that means you can use Shadow Mewtwo from the get-go. In-game, I have no idea how you get him or if you'll be able to get him. So this might be the only way you're able to get Shadow Mewtwo. And also, I'm wondering if it... It's going to sort of have some sort of story because in this trailer there was something really strange of which I did not get a screenshot of it but it showed this sort of boy in blue robes running and then suddenly energy formed around him and he turned into a Lucario which turned into Mega Lucario it's like people turn into Pokemon or something strange is going on but yeah um, on to the last picture. Um, Pokemon tournaments will be released on Spring 2016. So another Spring release. Also, I'm just ticking off so I know which things we have done. Okay, on to the second to last thing before we go to our commercial break. And... This is embarrassing. I need to find the pictures. Or picture. Right, here it is. Pokemon Super Mystery Dungeon available for Europe, February 19th, 2016. I have been waiting for this news because it was first of all released in Japan back in August. I think it was this year. And then September. Or was it only this month? I can't remember. It was released in North America, Canada, possibly Australia, I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, it was released there, so. And Europe isn't get till next year. Don't know why, but, you know, that's how the cookie crumbles sometimes. On to our final bit of news. We have got, well, before the commercial break, like I said, uh, next photo. Thank you. We have got the Mega Man Legacy Collection coming to the Nintendo 3DS eStore and then let on available February 23rd, 2016. And then either on the same day or possibly 26, it will actually have a physical copy. And if we go to this last picture, as you can see, the Mega Man Amiibo is there because the Mega Man Amiibo can be used with game somehow, not sure what the function is, but you can see next to it is the Golden Mega Man. This is a new Golden Mega Man Amiibo, which will come with the Legacy Collector's Limited Edition bundle if you buy the physical copy in store rather than digitally downloading it. And I am definitely getting that. Also, Pokemon Super Mystery Dungeons. Uh, I'm not sure about Star Fox Zero or Mario Paper Jam or Xenoblade. Might possibly get Pokemon tournaments. Depends how much they are, how much money I have at that time of year. But anyway, we've gone through the first seven pieces of news. I like to thank everybody for watching. But now we are going to our commercial break, so I will be back momentarily. Hello and welcome back. We are back from our commercial break. Let's continue with the video. If you are just joining us right now, you might want to go back to the beginning of this video. But anyway, so on with our next segment of news. New Animal Crossing related stuff. Here's the picture. It says Amiibo times Animal Crossing. So what we got coming early 2016. Change picture. We have got new Amiibo figures being Rosetti, Blabbers. I can never pronounce this person's name, but it, I think it's Celeste. And also Kix. 
weeks. But also coming this November 20th of this year, Animal Crossing Amiibo Cards Series 2. Now, this was not announced in the direct, but I thought I'd show it off anyway, as it is Animal Crossing related. This little billboard sign has been spotted over in the US with Rover and Cap'n, I think that's how you pronounce his name, as new Amiibo figures also come into the Amiibo figure line of the Animal Crossing series. So that is number eight news checked off the list. Next up we have got virtual console releases. First three virtual console releases coming February 26, no, February 27th, sorry, 2016. We have got the original Pokemon Red, Pokemon Blue, and Pokemon Yellow Special Pikachu Edition. Now, if you live in Japan and you happen to be watching this video, I think for you people over there, it will be Pokemon Red, Pokemon Green, and Pokemon Yellow, as Green was never released overseas in the US or Europe so there's that also what came available straight after the Nintendo Direct on Virtual Console for strangely enough the Wii U I thought it would be 3DS but YOLO is The Legend of Zelda Phantom Hourglass and The Legend of Zelda Spirit Tracks if you buy one for £9 which I'm guessing is $9 or something you can get the other one for half price. Offer available until 23.59 UK time on November 19th, 2015. But if you were watching the American Direct, you will know your time zone for when that special offer ends. Next up, we have got The Legend of... Zelda Triforce Heroes update with a new part of the Drab Lands being the Den of Trials with I believe 30 or 32 new levels now if you excuse me the phone is going everybody I am back sorry about that I just had to quickly answer the phone so what was I saying yes Den of Trials brand new area to the Drab Lands for Zelda Triforce Heroes update with 30 to 32 plus new levels. Also, we got these weird trifor uh, Triforce mark checkpoints here in this picture that you can see now. Uh, I've forgotten what they for, so you might want to go and actually watch the original direct or look it up online because I really can't remember, so sorry about that. Next up, we've got a brand new costume, the Lineback Uniform. If you do not remember this brilliant character, Lime Captain Lineback is from the Legend of Zelda Phantom Hourglass game. Just such an amazing character. But what is this costume's new special ability, or does it have an ability? Yes, it does. It allows you to see inside treasure chests. You get to end level, they're free treasure chests. While wearing the Lineback costume, you can see where the rare and the common items is. Image. Our second costume for this update is the Fierce Deity Armour, which is looking cool. I wish they changed the hair from Link's yellowy blonde to, you know, the whitey grey for the Fierce Deity. So he had, but no mind. On the of this, you shoot sword beams in all four different directions. Well, four different directions, not all four different directions. Otherwise, it'd be so straight forwards, straight left, straight right, straight backwards as your agonal. But also, in this next image here, you can see by using the totem, this... The sword beams will damage enemies, but also the release date of this free software update. Next image, and final image. The Legend of Zelda Triforce Heroes software update, available December 3rd, 2015. So, 
that is that. On to the next bit. When they were revealing one piece of footage, they transitioned into this 10 second footage of... Wabam! The Legend of Zelda Wii U. No name, unfortunately. It was only a 10 second clip, but look at the detail in this photo. As Epona rides through the grass, the grass actually splits apart. Also, Link's tunic is slightly different. If, well, you can notice from a different shot. And if we go on to the next image, you can see in the top right what people believe to be either Death Mountain or Eldin's Volcano from Skyward Sword. But also you can see some sort of beautiful sunset or sunrise. But it looks so beautiful. And you can see Link has some sort of weird like big giant pole thing coming from his back. And what that is to be believed is a long sword. If we go on to the next image, we Capona has all sorts of gear on her. Maybe Link can go camping or something. But if we go on to the zoomed in version of this image we can see that Link's design on the shirt the white symbol bits are a bit more circular than the original one minute trailer than we got in the game awards but also you can see he has some sort of n on his leg like the pouch thing it's either some sort of notebook or book or map maybe but what can you see on it that is very, very noticeable? I might or might not be able to enhance the image. Um, no, I cannot. I'll give you three seconds to guess. If you guessed it correctly and were thinking what I was thinking, it's the Sheikah eye symbol but with a blue eye in the centre, which looks actually very similar to the Time Shift Stones, which were, you know, technology in Skyward Sword, but also um, the Hyrule Historia basically states that the Ocarina of Time is made out of this Time Shift Stone ore, and probably the hilt of the Master Sword. Oops, uh, sorry about that. I was trying to go on to the next image on my iPad and click it up here so you could see, but it just opened YouTube notifications instead. But yes, so, will the Sheikah have a very big role in this game? I don't know. I'm not sure, but I think they will. But also, unfortunately, I don't have a clear image shot of Link's back, but the round shield he has got has not got the Sheikah eye symbol on anymore, it's got more of a diamond pattern, and if we go on to the final image, we can see it says clearly 2016, but also in the top right corner of the photo, you can see very tiny on the mountain, but one, two, three, four, goats. Yes, goats, ladies and gentlemen, so, on to number 12 piece of news. We have got some Legend of Zelda Hyrule Warriors Legends update. A brand new character, Linkle, is finally being introduced. She was going to be part of the story of the Wii U version of Hyrule Warriors, but she was scrapped. I can't remember why, but she is in Hyrule Warriors Legends. If we go on to the next image, she is holding what seems to be a stopwatch, but actually it's a compass with the Triforce symbol and the symbol of, I believe, Hylia, the goddess, but it's also known as the Royal Crest. If we go into the next shot, we can see her in action with her twin crossbows shooting down the enemy hordes of moblins. If we go into the next image, this is her special attack where she gets one crossbow 
she puts it on the ground, she sort of goes like this, and shoots the other one in a circle, and you can see a big fire around her. There. But if we go on to the next image, we see the compass more up closely, and uh, engraved highly in writing, probably, appearing on it, but... Uh, onto the next image. This is the back forming, but you might be asking why are they showing this when they already showed the bit where she was holding it? Well, because you get a replica of Lincoln's compass with a copy of the game in the limited edition version bundle of Hyrule Warriors Legends. So as you can see, the compass there with the open box and the 3DS copy of the game. And if we go on to the next bit, we actually see the actual brilliant box that has Toon Link, Tetra, and Skull Kid on the side. And, you know, you can see it all there. And if we go on to the final image, we have got a release date. I believe it's a worldwide release date, but I could be wrong. Hyrule Warriors Legends will be available on March 25th, 2016, which I believe is the day before... It's, I... I think it's... Well, I think it's the next game that I'm going to be talking about that's coming out. Now, there were rumours somebody hacked into the eShop and found some stuff and... Well, we were all thinking, this is solid evidence, it's going to be true. And they revealed it to be 100% true in the Nintendo Direct, and I am so glad they did. Presenting to you all our very last piece of news, but I think one of the best pieces of news. The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess HD. Let's do the magical clap. Then there's a picture. As you can see, uh, you know, we've got the mini-map. we got Link with some hearts. And also, of course, different control scheme because it will be using the Wii U gamepad like Wind Waker HD. You might not see much of a difference in the graphics, but I have seen a video by, I think it was Game Explain, that shows um, a difference, like a split screen difference between the original Wii slash GameCube to the Wii U. And the Wii U looks much better, much brighter, so hopefully we won't all be turning our brightness levels up on our TV like this. We're a remote to full and not be able to see like we couldn't in the original, but obviously because this is a HD, they've improved that and hopefully fixed that problem. But as you can see um, in this scene, Link is running towards Pona outside of Castletown. If we go on to the next image... We have got Link in his wolf form with Midna rising him in the Twilight Realm. And I'm not sure if you can tell via the image, but this is brilliant, new, sharper gameplay and quality. But also, if we go on to the next image, these five amiibo will work with the game being Toon Link, Zelda, well, Twilight Princess Zelda, Twilight Princess Link, Sheik, Ganondorf, Twilight Princess version, but also it exclusively coming, um, you can either get it as a single pack, you know, single packet amiibo in the one box, or you can get it bundled with the game, it is the Wolf Link Amiibo. No idea what functionality it's got, all the other Legend of Zelda Amiibos, but it looks absolutely brilliant, and I will be definitely get it. As you can see, this is very new, neat, a nice golden base with Wolf Link just standing on two pieces of light, like, um, cracked white marble separated, so maybe he's trying to jump over a gap with Midna obviously riding him. Because basically, you carry Midna around all the time because she can't be bothered to walk on those legs or float as she can actually float in the game. But let me show you a close up of the limited edition box, or rather, three things. <laughs> now, this is a weird image because. It shows the amiibo going half into the box, and it shows the amiibo in the box. But anyway, 
So, the limited edition bundle would come with a copy of the game, the Wolf Link Amiibo, plus some sort of CD soundtrack, I presume, of all the, you know, music from Twilight Princess, and then go on to the next image. is a closer look at the whole box, but without everything else on the left and the right. So I'll let you have a good look at that, and then we will go to the release date. Okay? Good. The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess HD will be available from the 4th of March 2016. Whew. We got so much news covered, but we have got more clapping and finger clicking, but I, it helps me cue in the photo, because obviously the photos will go in during the editing process but thank you everybody so much for watching this video make sure you leave a like favorite share subscribe and i'm sorry if the camera's slightly wonky and it looks like i'm you know slipping down the room but uh this video has been recorded in two parts the first part was recorded yesterday and this is a brand new day today actually what is the day today it is Sunday the 15th, so the first part being the intro and the first seven segments of news from the Nintendo Direct were filmed yesterday on Saturday the 14th. And I just sort of gave the illusion away that it was all filmed in one day, but never mind. So... Like I just said, thank you everybody so much for watching. Remember to leave a like, favourite, share, subscribe. Also, comment what games you're looking forward to in 2016, which ones you're going to get. Um, you know, all of that sort of stuff. And tell me what you thought of the video as well, because I always like feedback. And until next time, remember to... Stay golden, stay frosty, and bye -sies.